Big Phelps here, and here I have breaking video of the actual tsunami. It hits this pop band, this Indonesian pop band in in Indonesia. It's getting ready to happen. I'll go ahead and stop it and give you an update on exactly what's going on while we um, anticipate this thing. It's it's not known. I'm sure some people were hurt here. I mean, it's not known exactly what happened at this time. The death the death toll stands at. 222 officially, unofficially, however you want to say that. Karita Beach, Indonesia. The tsunami believed to be triggered by it was believed to be triggered by a volcanic eruption. Okay, it's killed at least 222 in Indonesia during this busy holiday weekend there, and you know obviously with Christmas and whatever they celebrate there. And I mean it destroyed hundreds of houses. All right, right there, there it comes. Boom! It just totally took it out. Look at that totally taking it out and it's just it, it's incredible and, and here it is again I'll go ahead and keep going with the news and all right and these people they were not these people but other people they were it swept away hotels hundreds of houses and a group of people that were attending this beach concert there was more than 800 have been reported injured so far at this time and it is 28 missing after the tsunami hit it hit the Sunday straight and it hit Saturday night the disaster mitigation agency said the toll could continue to rise because some areas had obviously they haven't been reached yet the scientists including those from Indonesia's meteorology and geophysical agency said Sunday that the tsunami could have been caused by undersea landslides or those occurring above sea level in the Anakana volcano steep outside slope falling eruption. The volcano's name translates to Child of Kartogra. A volcanic island formed over years after one of the largest eruptions in recorded history occurred in a Kartogra volcano more than a century ago. The scientists also cited tidal waves caused by the full moon. So they are kind of coming back to that saying that the tidal waves had to do something about it. This is the dramatic video. It was posted, you know, just by somebody out there and what have you. And the pop band's name is 17, performing, and they're performing under a tent on a popular beach at a concert for employees of the state-owned electric company. And also the state owns media and everything else there. It's not like here. So, and as you can see right here, boom, there it is. All right. And, you know, they're listening and tables are covered in white cloths while there's bobbing in the music near the stages and the bright strobe lights flash and theatrical smoke was released. A child could also be seen wandering through the crowd seconds later with the drummer pounding just as the next song was about to begin. The stage suddenly heaved forward and buckled under the force of the water, throwing the band and all their equipment into the audience. The group released statements saying their bass player, guitarist, and road manager were found dead, while two other band members and the wife of one of the performers remained missing. The tide rose to the surface and dragged all the people on sight the same as that. Unfortunately, when the current receded, our members... Are unable to save themselves while some did not find a place to hold on to so I mean some of these people were killed in this video I mean it's, it's absolutely nuts this is breaking stuff and you know I'm reporting it as it's happening here you know I, I bring it to you as I have it so you know you know guy said you know I had to run the way past the beach and landed 15 to 20 meters or 50 to 65 feet inland a Norwegian Austin Galan Anderson wrote and the self-described photographer and volcano enthusiast said he was taking pictures of the volcano when he suddenly saw a big wave come towards him. I talked about it in my earlier video. He said the next wave entered the hotel area where I was staying and drowned cars on the road behind it. He wrote managed to evacuate with his family to higher ground. The forest pass and villagers where they were taken care of by locals were unharmed, thankfully. The Anakadetic volcano lies in the Sunday Strait between Java and Sumatra inlands. Linking the Indian Ocean and Java Sea, it erupted about 24 minutes before the tsunami. Before the tsunami, the geophysicist agency said the worst affected area was the Prana region of Java's Batal Province, which encompasses Yurlan Kalong National Park and popular beaches. Disaster agency said agency spokesman Sabadeo Pala Nora said 222 deaths have been confirmed and at least 843 people were injured. Rescue workers were still trying to access other affected areas. Indonesian President Joko Jakawa Wadilo expressed his sympathy and ordered government agencies to respond quickly to the disaster. My deep condolences to the victims in Bala and Lomba province, he said. Hopefully those who are left have some patience. 
because they you know it's going to take some time for people to get in the, get in there in the city of Bandar Lombard and Sambado hundreds of residents took refuge at the governor's office at the popular resort area in Carita Beach some survivors appeared lost imagine Ezra Corina 16 said he was undergoing vocational training with a group of 30 other students at Product Comfort Hotel when people suddenly burst in the lobby yelling seawater rising he said he was confused because he did not feel an earthquake but ran to the parking lot to try to reach his motorbike by the time he got there it was already flooded suddenly a 3.3 foot wave hit me he said I, he fell down the water he, he was separated from his bike he was thrown into the fence of a building about 30 meters from the beach and held under the fence as long as he could He's trying to resist the water it felt like trying to drag him back in the sea kind of like ripto he said he cried in fear this is a tsunami he said he was afraid he would die i mean obviously he was a, that's crazy stuff if you ever been taken out by a rip current it's scary you know surfing or whatever it's nuts all right the the 305 meter high located about 200 kilometers southwest of Jakarta Indonesia's capital has been erupting since June in July authorities widened its no area no go areas to two kilometers from the center however any Kina remains much smaller than Karosia when it blew in 1883 killing more than 30,000 people Kratovia launched far-reaching tsunamis and created so much ash day was turning to night and area of global temperature drop was recorded the violent explosion sank most of the island of the volcanic crater under the sea an area remained calm until the 1920s when Anik Karidia began to rise from the site it continues to grow each year and erupts periodically Sigur Pedesa, co-founder of the Tsunami Research Center in Indonesia, says Saturday's tsunami was likely caused by a flank collapse. Caused by a flank collapse when a big section of a volcano slope goes away. He said it's possible for an eruption to trigger a landslide above ground or beneath the ocean, both capable of producing waves. He said actually the tsunami was not really big, only one meter, said Pedesa, who had closely studied Crado. The problem is people always tend to build everything close to the shoreline. Nine hotels and hundreds of homes were heavily damaged. Broken chunks of concrete and splintered sticks of wood littered hard-hit coastal areas, turning beach getaways popular with Jakarta residents and near ghost towns. Vehicles tossed by the waves remained belly up in the rubble or were lodged in the air under collapsed roofs. Debris from thatched bamboo shacks were strewn along the beach. Indonesia, a vast archipelago of more than 17,000 islands and home to 260 million people, lies along the ring of fire and arc of volcanoes and fault lines in the Pacific Basin. In September, more than 25,000 people were killed by a quake and tsunami that hit the city of Pala and the island of Sulawesi, which is just east of Borneo. Saturday's tsunami rekindled memories for some of the massive magnitude 9.1 earthquake that hit on December 26, 2004. It spawned a giant tsunami off Sumatra Island in western Indonesia, killing more than a qu almost a quarter million people in a dozen countries, the majority of Indonesia. Roads and infrastructure are poor in many areas of disaster prone Indonesia, making access difficult in the best con conditions. So, you know, this is where we are at this time. Those are the tolls. You know, prayers out to all the people who are affected. And, you know, it's, it's, it's horrible what happened here. I mean, these people are just kind of, you know, it's for employees and stuff. And they just got swept away by all this. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe.